Uh, fellows, we're here to do a course tonight on intermittent electrical problems. All right? And uh, that's what we're going to do. What happens here is a lot of times guys will complain or customer will complain, I only have high blower. Where's the first place you would, first thing you would do if you find on a system like this, you've studied the diagram, I've pulled a lot of stuff out of there and left you just a blower circuit. If you think the blower is uh, bad, or it's not blower, if you say that the blower is only working on high, where would you go first? Resistor. The resistor, okay. Now if you go to the resistor and you find that you've got no power in, at any of these, all right, now where do you go? But you still have high blower. Kind of messed up a little bit there. All right? If you say, hmm, I'm really messed up. I don't know what the heck to do now. Here's what I would do on this system. I'd go to the fuse. All right? I would turn the system off. And I would probably have amperage, I mean, uh, voltage of that fuse. Anybody work on a Ford uh, variable speed radiator fan? Everybody worked on one? Everybody ch have you changed them? Okay. Have you tested them? Been able to test it? You can't. All right. But you can. They say you can't. You know what they told me? The only way to test it is hook it up to a known good PCM. That's what they told me. No test procedure on it. Can't do it. Impossible. And I said, hmm. Well, I said, <laughs> That can't be. I got to find some way to do it. We got to test them somehow. All right. What you'll find is the computer uses a pulse width modulation, almost like it does with a fuel injector. And there's 12 volts on this wire all the time. All right. If you take a paper clip or something shaped like a horseshoe or whatever, run a wire to it, and attach it to that wire. Now it can be connected to the PCM. That's fine. Just attach it to that wire somehow. Take your test light and ground it. Take your test light tip and go like this. Up, down, real fast. It'll give you enough signal to make it work. Now, if you just did a piece of wire to it and tried to do this as fast as this, never do it. Here's a battery drain on a Mercedes. Eight cars been on off for eight hours. Cars been off for six or eight hours. All right, sitting in the shop. How hot is it there in the center? Hot. Two hundred and twenty-nine degrees. Okay. What's on? What was that? That was the auxiliary water pump on the rail. So I went on grayscale on a couple of things just to show people. For example, um, uh, if it was just seeing a lot of colors. All right, you may not realize what it was. All right, this one you could see a little better. You certainly couldn't tell what those other ones were. All right, this one you could see a little better. If you see it, that, that's the fan belt of the car. All right, all right. So what is this? All right, all right. Look at the, now I'm not, the dead center is where the temperature up here is. I'm on the outer case mostly. Okay, but the scale on the bottom is saying that the coldest spot in this is 75 degrees. But the hottest spot, which is the lightest, which is here, is 202 degrees. That car's been sitting for six hours. 